Okay, Peter, well, I'm here to talk to you and introduce the concept of Rumble Live. What is it, how does it work, and when does it start? So this is a show the South Morton Boxing Club are going to put on on the 24th of October this year. Now, we have been running shows for the last 15 years. Um, you know, I think we do very good shows. We, we, we trans transported our shows from, we used to have them at the Regal Centre in Wallingford. We used to call it Rumble at the Regal. Then we transported the, re the Rumbles back to the South Morton Boxing Club when we expanded our gym and got another building and all that sort of stuff. And they've been running it very successfully here for the last 10 years. And like I say, running our shows for the last 15 years very successfully. Obviously, with this pandemic, the whole of boxing was thrown into chaos. Everything was cancelled. You know, shows didn't exist. And we've seen the pro game come back. You know, first of all, we're top rank in, in, uh, in America, then with Queensbury in the UK, and then with Matchroom as well. And they are developing the behind closed doors concept. I know a lot of people in boxing are just desperate for the ticket money to come back. Can't think of any other way to finance the shows because they don't have TV money. Um, and I know a lot of people are planning shows for October and selling tickets for shows in October. And good luck to them. You know, I really hope that comes off. But just looking around at the landscape at the moment, I don't think the indoor crowds are going to come back in October. I think we're looking at next year. First of all, I want to say to those guys, I hope they're right and I'm wrong. But we thought we want to have a show. The guys are chomping at the bit to get out. You know, everybody wants to show their skills. So what can we do? How can we have a behind closed door? How can we have a white collar behind closed door with obviously no TV money? So we need the outlet so that people can see the show and we need to generate the interest. Um, and so then we've come up with the concept of Rumble Live. Now, during the lockdown, Peter, as you know, there were a lot of innovations that came, came, you know, came to pass in this club. Um, you know, I always think that, uh, you know, circumstances like this can bring opportunity. And luckily, we partnered up. We partnered up with KO Cup. We partnered up with Seconds Out. Um, we did a lot of hybrid stuff. We did a lot of online stuff to keep in touch with our members and to keep our club going, you know, during the full event of lockdown. Now, we came out of that experience obviously a lot more technologically savvy than we were. I mean, if you were to talk to me about Zoom on March the 23rd when they locked us down, I'd have said, what is it? And when you explained it to me, I'd have said it never worked. But by the following, by March the 25th, we had uh, 26 classes running on Zoom. We were all over it and we kept that going. And it was a great you know, technological boost to us. Now we're back in the gym and we're, we're doing uh, 45 classes a week, but we still have quite a few hybrid classes where people can, can train online because obviously some people still don't want to come back to the gym. So they can train online and join those classes or they can train in the gym. Also working with yourself, we put the YouTube camera in the gym and the microphones. So we were able to transmit and record you know, what was going on in the ring at South Morton Boxing Club and get that out on a platform where people can see it. And obviously it's been a really good educational tool for our fighters to be able to see everything they've done, video it, to, to, to rip it off YouTube with that six hour rewind. So that's been really powerful. And Obviously, we were talking the other day, how do we harness this technology? How do we get out of this bind of just waiting for ticket sales to come back? And I think we've come up with a solution. So what we're going to do with Rumble Live is in a way we're going to run it the same as a normal show, but it's going to be behind closed doors. So there are going to be certain protocols in place, temperature testing of, 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 the, of the corners, the corners wearing masks, the referees wearing masks, temperature testing of the boxers, obviously social distancing, um, you know, during interviews and everything else, but the fighters in the fight, there's going to be social distancing. Um, but we've got to get this concept across and make it exciting. We're going to use the YouTube camera that the KO Cup and Seconds Out have put in the gym, and we're going to broadcast the show live. And not only that, we're going to take some other concepts that have come from in boxing that we can do, the behind the scenes trips to, to visit the fighters, to get to know them. We're going to announce Eight weeks out from fight night, which is in about two weeks' time, we're going to announce our lineup of 10 fights. And there are some great fights in the making. There's some really good guys on this show, and we're going to keep the quality of boxing very high. The, bo the fights are going to be over either three two minute rounds, four two minute rounds, or five two minute rounds with the title fights. And we've got a few title fights lined up, some really exciting matches and rematches coming up. So, eight weeks before the show, we will announce the lineup. Five weeks before the show, all those 20 fighters will start submitting their reports from fight camp. These will be five minutes a week of them saying what they're doing, how they're feeling. You know, it's a bit of a rocky montage, showing the training, talking about the, you know, the why's the wherefores, how it's going, how they're fitting it in with work, how they feel about boxing on the Behind Closed Doors show. Those five minute clips will be edited down by the guys at KO Cup and Seconds Out into two minute chunks. So that's 22 minute chunks a week that we'll be throwing out onto the channel to build the fighter's profile, to let people know who these guys are, what they're going through, how they're feeling about it, building up to the fight now. Now, all through 
that five week period, people can vote for people's champion. They can vote for the guy that they think is putting the most effort, the guy that appeals to them most, the guy that they think is looking the most successful, the guy that they really want to win. Whatever the criteria, they, that is the people's champion. They will vote for him over those five weeks. And on the night, when we have the big spectacle on the night, and believe me, these cameras are magnificent. The record, you know, the sound quality is magnificent. It's going to be a great show to watch on our YouTube channel. Um, you can also vote for fight of the night. There'll be referees' decision on the fights, but at the end of the night, you can vote for fight of the night and best boxer of the night. So we're getting as much audience interaction as we can in this situation, where they're not actually standing next to the ring having the sweat sprayed on. But you know, we're going to try and use this concept, make it work, make it an exciting, interactive show. And of course, the other great thing about it is the numbers of audience is unlimited. You know, obviously all the fighters' friends are going to watch, but lots of other people are going to watch. We hope lots of other people are going to get involved. And, you know, as many people, obviously we here, you know, only have a 300 limit. It's a very small packed show in our gym. But, you know, other venues, when we were back at the Regal, it was 500, you know, and we've done 1,000 seater. Uh, uh, places before with this one it's unlimited so as many people as want can watch and you can also watch from wherever you want and i think this is going to be useful because you know having boxed myself and have obviously know what the guys go through you don't have to sell tickets for this because it's free but i know what it's like when you're saying oh, do you want to come watch me box do you want to come watch me box like, yeah 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 that's great definitely put me down for one put me down for two put me down for five then it comes to it and you know 20 30 percent of people oh, i forgot my uncle's coming down my aunt's coming down. i've got to go somewhere the missus won't allow me whatever it is but there's going to be no excuse this time because you can look at it on your phone in the pub. You can look at it, you know, on the TV at home, wherever you want. It's totally accessible. So I think that's an exciting thing to roll out. So I just, I kind of feel that boxing has to get used to life behind closed doors. Boxing has to adapt this model, move it on. And, you know, and, and if we can get this right, a bit like we did in the gym when we got the Zoom classes right, um, and then we moved out of the Zoom time into people coming back, which is fantastic, but then we kept the hybrid. So, you know, even if these guys out there planning shows for October are right and the crowds will be back, that's fantastic. We love it. It just means there'll be a crowd in the gym while we do all this broadcast into the rest of the world. So, you know, in a way, it's, it's, it's like it could be a hybrid show, could be a behind closed doors only show, could be a few people in. My feeling is it will be just be behind closed doors, but I just think we've got to develop this concept and we've got to go with it. And we've got to make it work and we've got to see, you know, and there will be great opportunities there to make a better show than it was before. So it's a learning process, but luckily we're able to learn from the people that have gone before. Um, but you know, it's still early doors, if you pardon the pun, uh, you know, behind closed doors. So um, yeah, I'm just really excited about what this, what this medium can bring to boxing and how we're gonna help develop it.